The fertile farm fields of Lincoln County attracted Czech and German settlers during the land run. In 1902, the railway wanted to locate a station in the area, so the Czech farmers donated land to create a town. And uh, a lady by the name of Tracy Barda was given the honor of naming the town. She wanted to name it in honor of their, the homeland in Czechoslovakia, pra Prague, only she says, we're in America, so we're going to call it Prague. Around here, they call Oklahoma's greatest athlete a hometown hero. Jim Thorpe was born just outside of town. They put up a monument for him in front of the Historical Society, but it's this mural that really catches visitors' eyes. We're proud of that mural. It, it gets a lot of people, I mean, some of them actually come almost to a screeching halt when they see it. These days, Prague is a quiet bedroom community of about 2,000 souls halfway between Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Its heart has always been the Bohemian Hall where dances, weddings, and athletic spectacles take place. But on the first weekend of May, Main Street takes center stage, and the population booms as Prague celebrates its Czech heritage with a kolache festival. What's a kolache? It's a sweet roll made out of sweet dough with a fruit filling. The first kolache festival in 1951 was a full dress rehearsal for the town's 50th anniversary in 1952. To this day, the festival is celebrated with parades, street dances, and men and women dressed in traditional Czech clothing. However, the town's antique fire engine is no longer part of the parade. Its motor finally gave up the ghost a few years ago. But the ladies of St. Wenceslaw Catholic Church still bake every kolache served. We bake about 1,200 dozen every year. The church isn't just known for its pastry making. It's also home to the town's biggest attraction, the Infant of Jesus of Prague National Shrine. It's the only national Catholic shrine in Oklahoma. On pilgrimage Sundays, people come from across the nation to look at the statue and pray for relief from illness. The infant Jesus is dressed as a king. His collection of vestments reflect the liturgical calendar. He's dressed as a king to honor how his counterpart was disguised so he could be smuggled into his shrine in Prague, Czechoslovakia, when it was a communist country. At that time, the Czech Republic, their shrine was behind the Iron Curtain, and people couldn't go visit their little infant. But people are always welcome at the church and at the Prague Historical Museum to see how the descendants of a few Czech farmers are preserving history by honoring their culture and their community. In Prague, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.